Clary Freeform Create has a new capability which is terrific. It lets you take a static PDF file and add variable text, images, and barcodes. I think that this will open up all kinds of opportunities for mainstream users to personalize existing documents. This video shows how to do this using the diploma example from the Freeform Create example library. I'll start by opening up a blank diploma PDF file. Next, I'll import my data source, which can be an Excel spreadsheet, CSV file, or other standard format. Freeform Create parsed this file, identified the variable fields by the column title, and guessed at the type of content in each column. Now, it doesn't guess. It determines the type by the way the columns are named, but I'll get into that a little later. The important thing is that you can force change any of them right here. The A's are all shaded gray, meaning that Freeform Create has identified all these fields as text fields. Clicking on the image or barcode icons will change that, but it's right. These are all text fields. Also, I can move the sliders to tell it to ignore columns, but I'm not going to do that because everything looks good. Clicking Create brings me into the editor where I can see my diploma along with a list of my file names and variable data fields on the left. I can drag and drop variable data fields to wherever I want on the PDF master. I can also do all the usual formatting actions like specifying size, font, stress, alignment, rotation, fill, color, and so forth. You can even specify font colors as CMYK, RGB, hex, or HSL, and can save your favorites as presets. Oh, and Freeform Create provides access to all the fonts installed on your computer, not just the ones embedded in the PDF file. Sometimes you also want to combine multiple variable data fields like first, middle, and last names. Freeform Create lets you do this and even minimizes spaces of blank fields. You can also combine static and variable text, which I'll show in the next example. I like what I've done, but it needs to be neater. No problem. Freeform Create lets me align multiple fields. When I'm ready to see how it looks, I click the preview button and see the final personalized results. This view shows a list of all my records for one field on the left. In this case, it's showing me the degrees. I can select a different field by clicking on the field name and changing it. I want to look at first names. Clicking on a name shows me the personalized document for that record. I can scroll through my data set, but Freeform Create also offers some handy filters to show me the longest or shortest records. Now that seems useful. I can always go back to the design view and tweak it a little more. And when I'm happy, I can save my new document as a .ffp file, which I can file transfer to my print services provider to print through their Fiery server. Or, if I am a PSP, I can click the Send to Fiery Server button and send it to my press. I sent this one to the hold queue, and I can see it here in Fiery Command Workstation. Notice that it is 22 pages long. At this point, I can treat it like any other job and do all the processing Fiery performs, like send to impose or print, but I won't get into all that here. Watch my next video of a more sophisticated example which contains variable text, images, and barcodes, and save some time for the fifth video where an untrained person with no design or VDP tools or experience attempts to use Freeform Create.